Baltimore, Maryland, five-star challenge presented by Under Armour, Greg Little, one of the biggest guys you're going to see around here, big-time offensive lineman. You know, first and foremost, just talk about how excited you are to be here. Um, it's my second year, so I'm pretty excited. You know, meet, meet a lot of new guys and just um, have fun, compete, just make, make friends, make contacts. You know, these guys are all top guys, so it should be some good competition out there. Do you feel that you may be a little better prepared for this in year two than year one? <laughs> Yes, because the last year I was a young guy, so I mean, if I, go, if I get beat against an older guy, I think an excuse like, oh, he's older than me, but this year I'm an older guy, so there's no excuses. But uh, yeah, I'm a little more prepared, a little more, um, you know how this goes, so I know what I have to do, so I'm pretty prepared. Do you look at the roster but when you're announced that you're in this and say, okay, I know this guy and I know this guy and I know this guy that I'm going against? Does that get the competitive juices flowing? Sur surprisingly, I don't look at the roster. No, I, I just like I'm the guy who said, put somebody in front of me, I'm gonna do my job so I can control what I can do, not what they can do. So if I do what I can do best, then I know it should be a problem. For people who haven't watched your tape, who is Greg Little the player? Patient, relaxed. Um, people want linemen to be just dirty and just throwing guys around. I'm more of a guy just um, I mean I get pancakes when I, when I feel feel, feel it coming, but I'm more of the time just open holes. Pass block, uh, love pass blocking, run blocking it has improved, but um, I'm not bad. I mean, guys, coaches want to see more, you know, aggression. But I mean, I get the job done. Um, I like getting downfield safeties and DBs. That's the fun part. When the smaller, that's where my my pinkers come from, and linebackers. So that's just, you know, just I have to move around, open space, screens. That's pretty much. You you have that mean streak though when you need. Yeah, it. yeah, definitely, definitely. There's, there's no, there's no, there's no lack of that. Oh no, no. If, I mean, if I feel it coming, I'm gonna finish it. But I'm not gonna go out of my way just like, you know, just get a pancake. So now, now minute to A and M, but to be continued. We're, I mean, it is necessarily right. done. They're still kind of looking around or whatever. One of the schools that's in on you is Ohio State. Talk about you know your relationship with the Buckeyes. Uh, it's really good right now. I talked to Coach Beck um, a lot, probably like. Once on the phone and twice during the week on uh, social media, on Twitter. So we all have a good relationship. Uh, my mom talks to him quite a bit too. So we're going up there to visit. I don't know when yet. Definitely, we're going up there to visit. Is that something that you try to put together for the summer? Yes, yes, most definitely. Now, you know, what does Coach Beck talk with you about? I mean, a lot of Ohio State coaches, you know, they're going to talk to you about football, but it's not always centered around football. I mean, what kind of stuff are you guys talk about? Becoming a man. That's a big thing. Becoming a man, developing, uh, just developing a relationship with people around you. So, I mean, I guess it's football, but I'm more focused on being a man, coming very little in the future. Now, Ohio State's offensive linemen, they have a nickname there. They're called okay. the Slobs. Are you aware of this? I'm not. First time hearing it. What do, I mean, what do you think about that? Do you want to, I'm not saying you want to go to Ohio State at this point, but I'm saying, do you, would you want to be called a slob? No, not definitely. <laughs> no, not. I mean, it depends how they use it in a good way or a bad way, you know? Right. So. Now, but are you, I mean, I'm sure Ohio State has definitely talked to you about look at the guys that they put in the league, even right. some guys that weren't drafted. I mean, you know, Corey Lindsley with the Packers, you know, Andrew Norwell, guys, guys Jack Newhart with the Colts. I mean, mm -hmm. is that is that something that, you know, that you take notice of? Um, I feel like when people go to the league, is that because of the college? So coaches say it happens guys in the league. No, I feel like it's in the player. So coaches come with the advertisement of this guy went to the league, it doesn't really matter to me. I feel like you can go to the league wherever school you go to, you know? So... Last question. When do you want to shut everything down? I mean, you know, as you sit there and you kind of see, you know, maybe what some of the other options are, do you have kind of a, in your mind when you want to be done with all of that? I mean, is it something that, or is it just a, a feel? I mean, that you just, it, it, it'll happen when it happens. I would definitely have my firm decision on signing day, so. <laughs> you can't go much deeper than that. Right, right, right.